3-2 in a shootout. Your final here at Cops Coliseum, Abbotsford Heat over the Hamilton Bulldogs. I'm Laura Barney with Derek Wills. I guess, Derek, let's just take it from the top. Your thoughts from start to finish. Well, a fantastic start for the Hamilton Bulldogs in the hockey game. They score a couple of first period goals and really dominate the Abbotsford Heat in the opening 20 minutes. And it looked like it might turn into a lopsided hockey game, but Abbotsford, who came in from Utica last night, had bus legs in the first period. They seem to get better in the second period, even better in the third period. They're a team that skates really well and clogs up the neutral zone and the shooting lanes and the passing lanes. And the Hamilton Bulldogs, I think, took their foot off the gas a little bit after grabbing that 2 nothing lead. They lose to a pretty good hockey club, a team that's second in the Western Conference right now. Now let's go back to the goaltenders. Of course, it was an unfortunate finish for Robert Meyer, but he did have a good game. I thought he had an excellent game. Robert Meyer is one of the reasons why the Hamilton Bulldogs got a single point in this hockey game. And really, Sylvain Lefebvre can't go wrong right now. He's got two fantastic goaltenders who pretty much have identical stats. Robert Meyer and Dustin Tokarski, in my opinion, as good as any goaltending tandem in the American Hockey League. When you've got two guys as good as Meyer and Tokarski, you're going to have a chance to stay close in hockey games and win hockey games. All 10 games the Hamilton Bulldogs have been in this season have been decided by a single goal. They've got better goaltending than a lot of teams in this league, and that's why they've got at least a point in eight of those 10 games. All right, Derek, thank you very much, and we're going to see what our coaches had to say about this one. I thought, you know, with uh, taking the lead uh, to nothing, you know, that these are games that uh, that you have to close the deal uh, and bring the two points home. I mean, we got a point out of that game, but, you know, we can't be satisfied with that. You know, it should have been a two-point game and, uh, you know, especially against a team that we play eight times this year and, uh, you know, that we're going to battle all, all year long. So uh, I think uh, we gave him life in the second period. Uh, we gave him a goal uh, in the second period, and uh, and from there we uh, you know played a little tight I think, and uh, but we had some good scoring chances. Their goalie played well, uh, but having said that, you know we uh, we have to find ways to close the deal when we when we take the lead. At two nothing, we got a little casual. Uh, you know we uh, made plays that uh, forced plays that weren't there. Uh, we uh, didn't play uh, together as a unit of five. Uh, you know on the ice. And I think that, uh, you know, after they scored the first goal, then we started taking a few penalties and some bad penalties. You know, three penalties uh, taken 200 feet from your net, you know, those are bad penalties.